sorry I'm just catching up on my YouTube emails on here and um, um, I thank you very much uh, uh, for your subscription and uh, having the patience to listen to my uh, what would be otherwise called very boring videos <laughs> evidently some of you are still interested in, in what some of us have to say and I uh, I was reading this email uh, just now um, by one of my subscribers uh, who pointed out that um, one of one of my um, videos I'm not actually sure what which one that was was um, featured on the um, uh, on this website called um, after downing a uh, downing street dot com and I haven't actually I don't know uh, <laughs> I haven't actually viewed the this uh, this uh, video of mine in a while so I'm not sure what they featured on there <laughs> I'll, I'll post a link to it if, if I think it's uh, it's a it's an accurate uh, representation of my views which um, based on the uh, based on that website it probably will be anyway um, I I'd, uh, I'd like to get back to some pertinent issues um, here at home as well and um, everyone knows that um, or at least some of my <laughs> older subscribers know that um, you know I work in the healthcare field and uh, I've had some beefs within that business and uh, which actually shouldn't be a business but uh, there was an article posted uh, on the Daily Coast website which I don't visit much anymore but there is uh, one author on there uh, NV or N N um, NYC Eve I call her um, New York Eve and uh, she pointed out uh, some very uh, important facts which are going on right now today um, here in the United States uh, which are given being uh, it's not being covered okay so basically the uh, title is healthcare credit scores going into high gear in 2009 sorry to start this year like this but it's important for everyone to recognize the urgency of health care reform tragically in 2009 I fear we're going to usher in an era of obtaining health care will be a hinge on your ability to pay or on your credit worthiness overall 2009 could become known as the year of pay or die so this is uh, this is what this author had to say and basically what she's talking about is medical credit cards and I've talked about this before as well you know previously about a year ago and um, what what is going on here is that the credit card industry as a whole has um, has basically um, come up with a new strategy in order to milk consumers or rather patients um, so that they uh, will be accepted for uh, non um, emergency care non-emergency care um, into the uh, into hospital rooms according to their personal ability to pay or based on their credit score so it's basically like um, um, if you want to get medical treatment um, it's going to be functioning like um, applying for a car loan and if your credit um, is down in the dumps you aren't going to get a hospital room and you aren't going to get the care outside of that emergency room and you're 
you're you're basically going to be turned down by major hospitals and facilities if your credit score doesn't happen to be up uh, to par. You know, uh, this is this is outrageous because it is a marriage between the medical industry and um, Experian, Experian, you know, one of the credit rating, rating agencies coupling with um, big finance in order to uh, convince consumers that they, um, uh, the only way out for them in order to receive um, adequate medical care is to uh, take on uh, loans from these industries. <laughs> Talk about, you know, consumerism. Uh, take on loans from these industries either at no interest, in which case the individual offices or doctors will pay for that interest, or at very high interest rates if your credit score is down in the dumps. And then that interest rate is, you know, something like 28%. Uh, and then maybe you'll get the care that you need. I mean, this is this situation is just completely surreal. This is, you know, it's basically uh, I mean, you you can't even make this stuff up. It, because it's all there, but it's not being put out there on our national uh, news networks. This is truly what is happening now in America. This CEO of this company, and he's he's by no means the only one, so I don't want to single this single company out. There are many others at work and doing this. But one of those, one of those companies is called um, Bain Capital, and uh, it's actually uh, one of the one of the people behind it is actually Mitt Romney, who would have guessed. But um, you know there are other companies out there, out there um, like Care Credit, um, p uh, companies which are being financed by big business uh, like General Electric in the case of Care Credit, and they're all after the same um, the same um, consumerism um, in terms of healthcare, as if healthcare. Uh, is a consumer item to begin with. So here's a little interview, just a few questions to the CEO. Um, Many hospitals now offer payment plans for patients who can't pay. Does Search America, and this is one of those companies, Google it up, Search America, one word, help with this? The answer from the CEO, oh yeah, that's all coming. We're in a good position to extend payment plan options. For example, in experienced auto business, when you go into an auto dealership, the dealer screens the buyer and lines up funding sources and you walk away with a car. Search America can do the same thing. Right now, the hospital is the bank, and that's not really their core business. Question to the same CEO. If you make medical loans more easily available, won't that raise the potential for bad debt? Answer. It may, but consumers are going for low monthly premiums, highly high deductible health plans, and we're going to provide a quick, easy way to finance that. Nobody plans to get sick. Question. 
It seems to me that your service would be most useful in America and less useful in countries with national healthcare systems where hospitals don't collect money directly from the patients. Answer. Experience sees the world healthcare system moving towards a US style healthcare system. Search America is seen as the platform for delivery of that care. Guess that says enough, doesn't it?